Hola clase. Um, today we're going to talk about cognados or cognates. Um, and cognados are, um, or cognates are English and Spanish words or words from two different languages that share an origin. A lot of times they come from Latin and they sound and mean the same thing. So there are two types of cognates we're going to talk about real quick, perfect and near perfect. Perfect cognates are words in English and Spanish that are spelled exactly the same. The only difference is going to be the pronunciation. You're going to pronounce the same word like you would in Spanish. So animal in English is animal in Spanish. Near perfect cognates are words that are almost the same, but they have some spelling differences and many of them follow patterns. So if, it, if it's an English word that ends in IC or IC, it um, would change to the Spanish ending of ICO. So artistic would be artístico. Notice the, um, um, mm -hmm. the um, stress is on that second syllable and you'll normally find the stress there. It's gonna change the kind of the way that the word is pronounced. If it ends in CT in English, it would be, I have the CTO um, Spanish ending. So correct in English would be correcto in Spanish. Um, if it has the IOUS ending in English, it would have the IOSO in Spanish. So delicious becomes delicioso. And if it has the TION ending in English, it would have the CION ending in Spanish. So celebration becomes celebración. Um, be careful though because there are some words that look like English words but do not have the same meaning as the English words. They're known as false cognates. Um, there, So you want to make sure that you don't accidentally say these. So example, um, embarazada, sorry I spelled that wrong, E-M-B-A-R-A-Z-A-D-A, -A -A, I forgot the, the R. Embarazada is not embarrassed, it means pregnant, so don't accidentally say that. <clears throat> meaning embarrassed, um, and then have the, the wrong um, meaning. Decepcion isn't deception, but disappointed. And emocionado is not emotional, but excited. So we're going to start. Um, you have the cognates handout. It says cognates using what you know. These are um, the examples on there. I just took it right from your handout. So for example, la flor is flower, la bomba is bomb. El planeta is planet, el marcador is marker, la computadora is computer, la limonada is lemonade, el yo-yo is yo-yo, la isla is island, el ketchup, you need to kind of just say it the same, ketchup, la persona is person, la pera is pear, and el microscopio is microscope, okay? If you go to the next one, um, I'm going to have you, you can read. But we'll do that beginning part. Um, we'll do a couple of them. So the introduction, you may be surprised with how much Spanish you can already understand. Match the Spanish words with the correct picture. So number one would be, um, B la persona. Two would be, A la computadora. Okay, you guys do the, the next three. And then you can pause this video and finish reading fill out what the cognates are, and then we're gonna to go to practicar next. So practicar, you're gonna look at the words below. You're gonna circle any that are a cognate. So any of the ones that sound like um, what they are going to be, okay? El concierto, el factor, la universidad, el programa, la televisión, la ventanilla, el color, el animal, la foto, el actor, la restauración, el violín, la religión, la farmacia, el doctor, el profesor. Okay, circle any of those that are cognates that mean the same um, in English and Spanish. The activity two, you're going to write the English meaning of any of those words from up above. Okay, so you're going to write the meaning, pick one, you can number them up above and then um, write the meaning of them. When you're done, you can pause the video here. Um, and then when you're done, we can jump down to activity three. So activity three is going to be to draw a line from the Spanish sentence to the correct picture. 
Okay, so you could number them too if you don't want to do lines and make it all messy. So number one, el planeta es enorme. Two, la televisión es fantástica. Three, las montañas son grandes. Four, las frutas son deliciosas. Five, el carro es rápido. Sorry, I said that one on El carro es rápido. Six, el pilota es talentoso. Seven, el elefante es elegante. Eight, la limonada está perfecta. Okay, so you're going to match those with the picture. Um, you can pause the video here. And when we're done, we can go um, to the next activity. Activity four is to translate the following sentences into English. So you're going to just write what they are. I'm going to say them because the more you hear, the better you kind of hear things. But, you know, it wasn't until I <clears throat> studied abroad in Spain that I felt like I could hear and understand better. So. Mi doctor es inteligente. Two, el piano es enorme. Three, los terroristas son criminales. Four, mi familia es invisible. Five, mi decisión es final. Six, el concierto es fantástico. Seven, el conflicto es necesario. And eight, el arte es magnífico. Go ahead and write out the sentences and their meaning. Um, you can pause the video here. And then we'll go on to activity five. Okay, activity five is going to be to write your own sentence using the words in the boxes. So in the first box on the left, you're going to choose one, you're going to add S, and then you're going to choose a uh, word from the box on the second one. So let's say um, el broccoli es horrible. I really like broccoli, so that would be a false, falso for me. But um, go ahead and choose and write your sentences out. And then you're going to do the cognates word search. I didn't do that with you. And then you're going to do the cognates test your ability um, on page six. So anything that's a cognate on page six, um, you're going to fill in. And then it will, it will be a picture of something. And you're going to just write what that picture is. And then on um, page seven, you're going to fill out the rest of it, answer what a cognate is, three examples of cognates, cognates are useful because, and then you'll do the self-assessment. When you're done with that packet, there is a second packet that's called um, Spanglish, the Great Cognate Search. So go ahead and read through the directions. Essentially, the directions are on page two, there's a list of the alphabet. Um, and you're going to go through and um, come up with cognates for each letter of the alphabet. And then you're going to turn it into a poster. Uh, uh, you could probably do a slideshow like this, um, like I have. And then you're going to come up with all the letters and you're going to write your cognate and you're going to have some sort of picture. Um, cognates. And then you're going to write, take five cognates and write them into a sentence, okay? Each word has to be illustrated. So notice my A for animal has a little pig on it. Um, and then you're going to turn the project in. So make sure that you are completing all of those. Um, again, you're going to go through and fill out the cognates on the last sheet for the alphabet. Come up with how you're going to present it, whether it's going to be like a poster or a little book or a slideshow like I have here. Write out the letter. Make sure that it is um, either colored or it has some sort of um, visual to go along with it. And then take five of those and write them in a sentence when you're all the way done. Okay.